Hi, my name is Oliver, and in this video, I'll teach you how to create a magnifying effect in After Effects. I'll teach you how to rig it, set it up, and use it for animation. So, let's get started. First of all, I have illustrated this magnifying glass. I've just turned it in Illustrator and imported all of the shape layers into After Effects. Then, as you can see in the background, I've just created a very simple grid. I can just turn off the shy layers and unlock it. See, it's just the grid effect. And really the reason I've done this is so that when we create the magnifying effect, you can actually see it taking place or actually see it affecting the grid in the background. Because if you just have a solid colored background, you won't really see anything being larger or stuff like that. So if you just lock this again and shy it away because we don't need that right now. But what we really do need is an adjustment layer. So we go up to layer, new, adjustment layer, and we drag this underneath the magnifying glass. And what the adjustment layer does is that you can apply certain effects to it, and then it applies that effect to all layers underneath it. So the layers we have underneath it is basically just the grid. So that's a grid that will be magnified. Now we can call this magnify effect if we'd like. And we also need to mask this because we don't want everything to scale up. We just want it inside of the magnifying glass. So I'm just pressing set and dragging to zoom in a bit. So we can actually draw out the path perfectly. We're going to use the ellipse tool. So click. I'm just going to click from the center roughly. And then I'm going to hold down command shift. So we get a perfect circle. We just need to cover the area with the glass that is transparent. It doesn't really matter if we cover a bit of the sides here. It's all fine. So after doing that, we can just deselect the layer. And now we want to apply some effects. But before we do this, it's very important that the magnifying glass, the glass itself, is right in the center. So the way you figure out whether this is true or not is that you go down here and you turn on the title slash action save. So when you have that turned on, you can just zoom in. See, we are dead center. Now, if you're not dead center, you need to move the magnifying glass and you also need to move the anchor point of it. So the way you move the anchor point is just select the anchor point tool or the pan behind tool. And you can just click and drag the anchor point so it's right dead center. So if we zoom out again, I'm going to apply some effects and also disable this tile action safe. And the first effect we're going to apply is called transform. And transform is quite basic. It just applies sort of the standard transform options that you have for layers but you can apply it to an adjustment layer so it affects the layers underneath. So we might want to zoom in a bit so actually see the effect that's going on in here. So we want to work with the scale. So we can just take the scale and maybe go for 125. And as you can see, it enlarges the glass portion of the magnifying glass. So it enlarges the background, that is. Now you can see we can scale this up even further, but I actually think 125 is quite good uh, because we don't want it too much because we're also going to apply another effect. So we can go over to the effects and presets and we can search for bulge. And this really does exactly what it sounds like. It bulges the layers underneath. So right now you don't really see an effect happening. And the reasoning behind that is that you can see this small circle and this is the affected area. So we want this to cover the entire magnifying glass. So we can go for something like 300 by 300 and that should cover it. So that's quite good. And now you can see it's actually bulging uh, the, the background in the center. So we want that effect. That's quite nice. And we can maybe turn the bulge down a bit. So that's by turning down the bulge height. We can go down to maybe 0 0.6 like that. And you can see that if we disable and enable the layer, we have this magnifying effect. So that's the first part. But if we try to move this magnifying glass, you can see that the effect stays. And also if you try and parent it, it won't really work that well because the scaling will happen from the center of the composition. So when you get to one of the corners, it, it will get really weird. Just trust me on this one. So what we're going to do is that we're going to create a control layer. And I usually use a null layer for this. So let's go to a layer, new and then choose the null object. We can just call this control. 
Now, first of all, we want to parent our magnifying glass and the effect layer to our control. This way, whenever we move the control, we can see that this actually follows. But right now it's acting a bit weird and that's because we haven't set up the parent links between the effect and the position of the control. So we can go into the magnify effect and what we want to link up is the anchor point, position, and then the bulge center. So basically every single position attribute inside of the effects. But we want to link this up to the position of the control. So we can just select the control and press P, set position. And now we go to the magnifying effect. We just all click the anchor point, first of all. You can see we get this expression tab. You don't really need to know any expressions for this because you're just going to pick whip from the anchor point to the position. And then click out of it. That's the first one. Then we all click the position. We pick whip up to the position again, click out. And then last but not least, we do it for the bulge center. So pick whip up, pick whip up, just like this. And now we can actually click out of all of this. And then when we try to move the control layer around, you can see that it works perfectly. So maybe it's not that visible with the grid. So we can go ahead and just create some text just for fun. So we can just go ahead and type in text layer. And now I just need to get my character up here so I can actually adjust the layer. I just want white text. So if I select it like that, just select a white color, scale it up a bit. Maybe I want another font and go for something like champion. Like that. Maybe I'll go for wilt weight. So like this, just scale up the text, try to get it centered like this. And you have to remember this has to be underneath the effect layer. So right around here. And now you can see the magnifying glass really taking effect. So if I select the control layer, you can see that we have this cool effect that's happening. Now, if we want to animate this, it's quite simple. We just have to animate the position of the control layer. So if I press P, we can just start the animation over here at the start of the text. Then we can add a keyframe, maybe go ahead two seconds, roughly and then just go to the other side like this. Now we might want some easing. So select the keyframes and press F9. You can also go in and select the speed graph and we can just adjust this a tiny tad. And now we can try and play this animation back. And you can now see that we have this magnifying effect. So maybe this is a bit too quick. We can just alter the duration Maybe we want a bit of rotation in the handle. You can actually do that on the exact same layer. So hold down shift and press R to also get the rotation. And maybe the rotation starts over on the other side. And then towards the end, we get back to more of a regular rotation, sort of like this. So we can also ease this by pressing F9, go into the graph editor and just do a bit of tweaking, nothing too much and play it back. So if you followed along with this tutorial, you're more than welcome to share your results with me on Instagram at Oliver Randolph. I'll be sure to repost it to my stories. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, tell me if you can use this in your future projects, and make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications if you want to see any future videos. That's all for now, till next time.